do you have crescent rolls in your fridge and you want to do something a little bit different with them? Today I've got four recipes for you that are creative new ways to use your crescent roll dough. Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the Making. Today I'm not only going to be using crescent rolls, but I'm going to be using the crescent dough sheets on a couple of these recipes. If you can't find the dough sheet at your grocery store because sometimes they're out of stock at mine, you can use just the regular crescent roll dough. You just won't separate them out into triangles. For this first recipe, I am making crescent roll veggie pizza appetizers. So for this one, I am going to be using the crescent roll dough sheet. I've got my oven preheating to 350 and I'm just going to roll this out onto this baking dish. Okay, this is just going to bake for seven or eight minutes and we'll let it cool and then we'll move on to the next step. This just came out of the oven. The recipe says just to take the entire baking sheet and put it on a wire rack and let it cool completely. For our veggie pizza, I just chopped up just about a fourth a cup of orange bell pepper. It called for red, but all I had on hand was orange. A couple of tablespoons of red onion, um, about a half a cup or so of diced carrots. And then you want some broccoli and cauliflower, about a cup of each. Okay, it's been a little while. Our dough has cooled. So now we are just going to put everything on top. First, we need 16 ounces of sour cream along with a pack of ranch seasoning. So since I have this large thing, it's about three tablespoons. Let's just mix all of that together. I did want to tell y'all, I've had this recipe. It's been so many years ago. It was my very first Pampered Chef party that I went to. I got this recipe from that party and it was so incredibly good. And I made it one or two times after that, you know, right after the party, you're like, oh, I want that again. But I haven't made it since then. So it's been years and years since I've made this. Make sure you get all the dry pockets of the ranch completely mixed in. Okay, I put some wax paper down. I'm gonna put my dough sheet on top of the wax paper so that we can make our pizza and then I will cut it and put it on a serving platter. So first we just need to spread out our sour cream mixture. Now we're just gonna come in with our veggies and just sprinkle them all over the top. Now for our carrots and our onion. Here's Steven emerging from his office. Mm -hmm. Coming in here for the most important part, which is the eating. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is that? A veggie pizza appetizer. Look over there on the stovetop. Oh man, you gonna let me have some of this? Yeah, in just a minute, wait. <laughs> well, let me know when I come in here and stuff my face. <laughs> It'll be just a couple of minutes. You do wanna kinda press these larger pieces in. So I just used my pizza cutter and cut this into 12 pieces. I think the recipe said 24 pieces. That would make these super duper small. And that's just kinda odd to me, so I went with 12. Gracie, no ma'am, no. There's no cheese to this. Obviously you can serve this immediately or you can put it in the fridge until you're ready to serve it. For our second recipe, this one only needs four ingredients and it sounds so good. A great appetizer, you could serve it for dinner too. This is called a ham and cheese braid and again, I'm gonna be using the dough sheet instead of just the regular crescent rolls, but if you don't have that, you can make do. Okay, today I'm gonna to be using my stone to make this. I just need to mix the inside part now. I've got about a cup and a half of cubed cooked ham, about two thirds a cup of shredded che cheddar cheese, and you better believe there's a cat behind me. Just listen. There you go. <laughs> Lastly, we just need about a fourth a cup of honey mustard. And let's just stir that all together just to coat it really well. We're gonna set this to the side and open up our dough sheet and just roll it out here on our stone. Now we're just gonna take our ham and cheese mixture and just put it right down the center of the crescent roll sheet. Okay, so now I just need to cut slits down either side. It says to make like 10 slits. Uh, we'll see how this goes. And now we're just gonna pull this up on either side, kind of, but it's gonna kind of look like a braid on top. Okay, it looks kind of like a mummy. <laughs> this is going in at 375 for about 20 to 25 minutes. It's time for me to get my eat on. Mmm, is it like honey mustard or something? Yeah. Wow, that is good. <laughs> when I saw this, I was thinking, you know, it'd be nice to have something to like dunk dip it in. into. Yeah, you don't need to. You don't need to. It's already in there. <laughs> <laughs> Excited about this. I mean, just the colors and everything. I can just tell this is going to be amazing. It's going to be taste good. That's right. Oh, man, look at that. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got a little too excited right there, dude. Is that ranch dressing? Or is that sour cream? Both. Ah. It's the ranch powder in sour cream. Okay. Yeah, the sour cream like helps it not be like overly ranchy. Yes. The veggies, the onions on there really just 
Oh, deepen, make it pop, yeah. Yeah, it deepens the flavor for sure. It makes it stand out more. You got the crunch of the uh, veggies on there. That's a good appetizer, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is time for our third crescent roll recipe. We are actually using regular crescent rolls this time. I love a great French dip. We are making French dip crescent rolls. I'm gonna make the au jus to dip them in. It's gonna be so good. Let's do it. To get started, we're gonna preheat our oven to 375. We're gonna separate these out. My stone is was used earlier, so that's why it looks kind of dingy. I just scraped it and kept rolling. <laughs> get it rolling okay anyway moving on okay this part is optional but we're going to put a dab of horseradish sauce on each one if you don't like it obviously just leave that off we do like the tang of a little bit of horseradish and I'm just going to spread this out just a little bit so it's not all concentrated in the same spot now I've got about half a pound of deli roast beef we're gonna put one piece of roast beef in each one and then I also have provolone cheese you could use Swiss if you wanted it I'm not gonna put an entire piece of cheese in there because they're very thick and somewhat large I'm gonna do probably about half a piece of cheese in each one okay now we're just gonna roll these up starting up here on the batter end okay these are going in a 300 175 degree oven for 11 to 13 minutes. I am your taste tester for the French dip. It's still hot. I've been letting it cool for just a couple of minutes, but it's still hot. I love the little pop of the horseradish. It gives it something a little extra. And then just the comforting, uh, the au jus to me is like ultimate com comfort food dip. It's so good. I think this would be great to serve as an appetizer at a get together. Just make sure you have plenty of the little ramekins or things for them to pour their au jus into so that they can dip it, but this is delicious. Let's make one more recipe that only has four ingredients. This one is more on the sweet side. Everything else has been savory. If you've been around for a while, you know I love anything and everything blueberry. So this next recipe would be great for like a brunch gathering. These are blueberry crescent rolls. Let's preheat our oven to 375. Okay, so I've got one thing of crescent rolls here. We're just going to separate them out into triangles. I've got a can of blueberry pie filling here. We won't be using all of the can, but that's okay because you can always freeze the remainder of this for three to six months. We're gonna take about a heaping tablespoon of the pie filling and put it on kind of the fat end of each triangle. Okay, now the trick is to roll these without creating too much of a mess. And it says you want to kind of pinch the ends together. Now, some of it coming out is gonna be fine. Kind of pinching the ends as you roll it. I'm gonna make a mess. I didn't do as bad as I thought I would. Now, some of that is gonna leak out while it's baking, but that will be okay. So this is going in the oven at 375 for 10 to 12 minutes or until they're golden brown. We had an explosion. I'm gonna let these cool for just a few minutes. I've got them sitting here on this wire rack. So while these cool, we're gonna make a glaze to go over top. I've got about a half a cup of powdered sugar and we just need to add one to two tablespoons of some lemon juice. That looks so good. It smells divine. Okay, we'll let those cool for a few more minutes before we go and pour this on top, and then we will taste test. They have cooled down a good bit. They're still a little warm, which is probably a good thing. Go run to the grocery store, get the ingredients, make these. That lemon juice, powdered sugar glaze, over the top, y'all. After taste testing all of the savory today, this is hitting the spot. I'm gonna be real honest, I've had two already. All right, mm, that is good. Wow, that is really good. Ain't it? We did it. I made four crescent roll recipes in one day. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you'll give them a try. I'll see y'all next time. Bye!